Hey, welcome back for yet another, no, no, cut that. Welcome back for another ballistics gel test without the BS. Today we're gonna to be shooting Hornady American Whitetail 6.5 Creedmoor 129 grain interlock. So we'll take a look at the box and ammo real quick. The box is nice and pretty and shiny to uh, no doubt get you to buy it. Um, Come over to the side, 6.5 Creedmoor 129 grain interlock. Come over to the back. Um, talks about the interlock bullet a little bit it's, it's similar to remington's core locked a little bit it's got an interlock ring rather than a core lock ring so it's just a cup and core lead and copper bullet with a lock ring to hopefully help it stay together a little bit better turning it over to the specs it claims 2820 feet per second at the muzzle and we're going to put that to the test and see how fast these things actually go and we'll go ahead and take a look at the ammo real quick uh, the brass is a little bit dingy, um, no dents, no dings. The bullets all seem to be seated and crimped to the same exact depth, so that's nice. The bullet tips also look real nice. Um, I mean, that's not the biggest deal in the world, but I like to see it. It's a little bit more aerodynamic for just an exposed lead tip cup and core bullet, which is kind of cool for a budget line of ammo. And a quick tip, if you have some Hornady American Whitetail that comes in this little plastic tray, uh, don't turn your rounds around and put them in like this, like I did just for the video for display purposes. There is a little plastic tab down in here that makes these really hard to get back out like that. And the test rifle today is my Ruger American with a 22 inch barrel featuring a Leopold VX3 HD scope on top. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. Alright, let's shoot them. All right, we're down here at the blocks after the first shot. I hit quite a bit high, but thankfully we did catch the bullet. I was, I was worried it was gonna fly out the top and it looks just beautifully mushroomed. And here we have the tape measure set up for penetration depth and it looks like this guy came in right, just, just a hair short of 20 inches. All right, time for shots two and three. All right, we're down here at the blocks after the second and third shots. I went ahead and left all the bullets in there for now. I haven't noticed a difference in performance and penetration or lack of penetration um, by just continuing to shoot through the first block that you've already shot through. I think it wouldn't really matter. The gel seals up extremely well, unless you're getting like 10, 15, 20 shots in there, and the most we're doing at any given time is three. So I haven't noticed any change in all the loads I've tested, so I'm gonna keep just doing that. It's easier for me, and let's measure penetration depth. All right, we've got the tape measure set up, and it looks like we've got, try and get straight here, one at about 18 and a quarter, one at, basically 18 and 3 eighths just a hair more and then one that is all the way out at about 19 and 3 quarter 19 and 7 eighths inches i'm gonna go ahead and dig these bullets out so we can get all the stats on them all right let's take a look at those velocities for the hornady american whitetail 129 green interlock 65 creedmoor that was just the last shot fired the high was 2677 the low was 2656 and the average was 2668. We are looking at the recovered 129 grain interlocks from that Hornady American Whitetail 6.5 Creedmoor load. The average retained weight across all three bullets was 120 grains, and respectively the bullets weighed 117 grains, 121 grains, and 121 grains for an overall 93% weight retention. That is pretty incredible for a cup and core, just copper and lead bullet. And I've gone ahead and flip them over and just look at how good those mushrooms look. These really look good. Um, max expanded diameter is 0.7 inches and respectively they were 0 0.79, 0 0.67, and 0 0.63 inches. 
So a little bit of variation there, but within a general range of each other, that's some pretty good expansion. And overall, that is 2.7x expansion. And if you've watched some of my other ballistics gel test videos, you'll know that sort of my rule of thumb for expansion with a modern hunting bullet for medium and large game is 2x. And we definitely blew way past that with these 129 grain interlocks. Now we'll talk about velocity. High velocity was 2677. Low velocity was 2656 for an average velocity of 2668 and the build velocity per the box and per hornady was 2820 feet per second. So this ammo did come in quite a bit slower than the build velocity, 152 feet per second slower to be exact, but the spread was very tight. We only had a 21 foot per second spread between the low and high velocities. And really when it comes to evaluating hunting ammo, the actual measured velocity is the last thing I'm worried about. Let's go ahead and talk about penetration. So the overall average was 19 inches of penetration and respectively each bullet got 20 inches, 18 and 3 eighths inches and 18 and a quarter inches. If you've watched some of my other ballistics gel test videos, you'll know that my rule of thumb for penetration on medium game hunting ammo is about the 20 inch mark. This ammo didn't quite hit that, but it was very, very close. We had a 19 inch average, so that's not going to keep me from using this. Your average whitetail deer is only 12 to 14 inches wide, so this would definitely do the job. If I was hunting some bigger bodied bucks in the Midwest or the Northeast, I might opt for a heavier bullet. Final thoughts on that Hornady American Whitetail 6.5 Creedmoor load with 129 grain interlock bullet. Um, performance across the board was pretty good. We had 2.7x expansion. It had great expansion, incredible weight retention. The one place that it, it didn't quite hit the mark for me was penetration. We averaged 19 inches, but it, it's just short of that 20 inch mark. Um, for me, I could use it just fine. I'm hunting here in Texas. Our deer are not particularly large body wise. If I was hunting in the Midwest with some of those big old corn fed bucks or maybe up in the Northeast with those big guys, I might go for a heavier bullet for, but for the vast majority of hunting, um, these would do just fine. If your rifle likes them, I'd say definitely give them a shot. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.